hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in so today as you can see in the description box i'm going to be showing you how to achieve this hairstyle a low bun with knucklon hair before we get started please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it at the end so okay so the products i'm going to be using today are a bristle brush a rat tail comb a spray bottle full of water cantu leave-in conditioner the foam one argan oil an eco styler gel and bobby pins, the color of your choice, and Kanaklon braiding hair. So the first step is to add the leave-in conditioner to your hair, just to make sure that it doesn't get dry. A lot of times when your hair is against synthetic hair, it can get dry over time. And then I'm grabbing my argan oil to seal in that moisture. And then I'm just finger detangling, and then I'm grabbing my rat tail comb, and making the part i'm going to be doing a side part but obviously you can do whatever part you want and the same steps would apply once i'm done with that i'm going to grab my spray bottle which just has water in it and i'm spraying down the roots of my hair and the part that where the eco style is going to go so that it's easier to slick down i try not to spray my ends because that makes it harder to blend with the connect on hair so then i'm grabbing my eco styler gel and adding that mostly to the roots and a pretty generous amount, like the more you add, um, the easier it will be to slick down your hair, but you don't want to overdo it just in case it does flake up. So once I'm done with that, I grab my bristle brush and I brush that out so that it's sleek and straight to your desire. And I'm using a soft bristle brush to make sure that I'm not ripping out my edges. And once it's slicked back to my liking, I just grab a ponytail holder and tie my hair back in a low ponytail. And then I'm grabbing a toothbrush and more of the Argan Oil Eco Styler and just slicking down my edges. And you don't have to do baby hairs or anything if you don't want to. You can definitely skip this step if you're satisfied with how slick it looks with just the bristle brush. So then I'm grabbing my bobby pins and this is pretty self-explanatory. You're just putting them on. The only tip I would give is to make sure that you fully separate the bobby pin before you put it on so that the top of the bobby pin goes over your hair so you can see it clearly and you can add as many as you want. You can cross them over. Um, you can do anything you want with these. You can really personalize that. So then I'm grabbing the Kineclon braiding hair and I'm grabbing a, another hair tie and I'm wrapping that around the braiding hair as you can see. Um, and then I'm cutting off the elastic band that it comes with. So this will help you attach that to your hair. And then I'm tapering out the ends by pulling um, random pieces down just so that the end of the braid is more seamless and doesn't all end at the same length. And then I'm wrapping that rubber band around my hair um, tight enough so that it's secure. And then I'm parting the Kineclon hair as well as my own hair into three pieces. And then I just start braiding. So this part is pretty simple. Um, you just wanna make sure that you try to blend your hair with the Kineclon hair, braid tightly so your hair is not sticking out. And then if you do have trouble um, blending the ends of your hair with the braiding hair, you can always add a little bit of gel or edge control, something that has a little less water in it so your hair doesn't revert. Um, and then just braid that all the way down. And that is pretty much it. So you can watch me finish the braid and then I'll show you the final look. Thank you so much for watching my video and please give it a thumbs up if it was helpful and please subscribe below. Thank you.